Son, and the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me, because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, if in one place so many people gather together, how do you recognize that someone is a Catholic? How do you recognize it? By making the sign of the cross. This is the symbol of our faith. I remember five, six years ago when I brought some youth from Hong Kong, we went to Thai Sek in French for the Thai Sek prayer meeting. And we have gathered around 20 to 30,000 youth staying in one village named Thai Sek. And every morning when we had celebrated the prayer together, we cannot recognize which one is Catholic, which one is Protestant. Because no one ever say, I am a Catholic or I am a Protestant. Because this is a common ecumenical prayer. But we can recognize someone is Catholic or not when we started prayer. When we pray, the Catholic wills just simply make sign of the cross. Because we invite the presence of the Holy Triumph God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in all the prayers, in all the liturgy, we started with making the sign of the cross. And the whole liturgy, we will recognize the presence of the Holy Triumph God. When you pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, or glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Or in our credo, we recognize, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life. Because the Holy Triumph God, the Holy Trinity is important. That is why the Church invites us when we started the ordinary Sunday. We celebrate the Holy Trinity. The Church invites us to celebrate this great mystery of our faith. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the mystery and it is the center of our faith. Where everything originated from and where everything returns to. 
the mystery of the unity and of God, at the same time, his subsistence in three equal and yet different persons. The Father, the Son, three in one. If someone challenges you how you explain the Holy Trinity, three but only one. One plus one plus one still the same one. How you explain it? My dear brothers and sisters, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, unity in communion, and communion in unity. When Jesus was about to ascend to heaven, he authorized his apostles to baptize in the name of the Holy Trinity. He said to them, Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. With these words, Jesus authorizes his followers to do everything in the name of the Holy Trinity. In this great day, we must realize that this great mystery is ever present in our lives. From the very sacrament of our baptism, which we have received in the name of the Holy Trinity, till our participation in the mystery of the Holy Eucharist, which is made for the glory of the Father by His Son Jesus Christ, thanks to the Holy Spirit. There are many lessons to learn from today's solemnity. This includes that we must learn to remain united in faith. Today's celebration is also a reminder to us that also, although we are called to be united, each one of us is unique. This is expressed in the different modes of spirituality which exist in the Church. In spite of this, we are still united in the pursuit of God's Kingdom. So none should be deprived of His uniqueness. Therefore, as one united but not uniform people, we must continue to work for the progress of God's Kingdom. Furthermore, just as one, each of these three defined persons, we must not be selfish or work for our personal gratification. No member of the Trinity oppresses or takes advantages of others. So we must avoid manipulating, oppressing or suppressing other members of our families, our communities, and our church. We should learn to live in harmony with one another in spite of our individual differences and our own uniqueness. We must avoid treating other members unjustly as if they are not important or do not belong to the same family or community of God. The love shared by the three persons of the Holy Trinity radiates the love of God in the life of the Church. The Father created, the Son redeemed, and the Spirit sanctifies. One God in three persons. And there are some, some important elements for us to reflect in today's celebration. First, the way of the Trinity is unity. The Trinity is one nature, no separation, nor undefined. We are invited to witness unity wherever we find ourselves. 
Separation and divisions are against the way of the Holy Faith. Therefore, we have to remain in unity. Secondly, the way of the Trinity is harmony. There is perfect harmony in the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Related in harmony from creation to redemption, and from redemption to the descendants of the Holy Spirit. Thirdly, the way of the Trinity is equality. The three persons of the Trinity are equal. None is superior to other. Therefore, all forms of inequality are against the way of the Holy Trinity. Fourth, the way of the Trinity is love. Unity, harmony, and equality can only be possible, possible where there is love. The Trinity is bonded by love. And therefore, we pray for genuine love in all our community and our relationship. The fifth, the way of the Holy Trinity is holy. As we celebrate and worship the most holy Trinity, may the rays of the holy light of the Trinity shine on us and dispel forces of sin and darkness and bring us to conversion. My dear brothers and sisters, so if someone challenges your faith and ask how to explain the relationship among the Holy Trinity, we can just simply explain. Holy Father is the Creator. The Son is the Redeemer, and the Spirit is the Sanctifier. God, because of love, He serves His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to save each one of us. And Jesus, because out of His love, before ascending into heaven, send the Holy Spirit to, to accompany the churches, to enable the churches to proclaim the gospel around the globe. So my dear brothers and sisters, in this solemn celebration, we ask the Holy Triune God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to remain with us and enable us to proclaim the good news wherever we are. With the Holy Spirit.